Textbook's new deep learning architecture can read your minds while you're typing. That too with an accuracy of 68% on character error rate. This is a new deep learning model that Facebook has released and the model is called Brain to QWERTY. And the reason it has QWERTY in the name is because this is a model that can decode what you're thinking by understanding your brain waves while you are typing it. We're going to discuss this paper and then understand why this is a significant leap forward in BCI brain computer interface. So this paper is called brain to text decoding a non invasive approach via typing. I think this is the most important aspect of this entire paper. So this is not like what Elon Musk is trying to do with neural link where you have to, you know, put a crack inside your skull and then insert something. So this is a non invasive technique is trying to understand what you are typing or what you're thinking and the way they are doing here is using a deep learning model and in this case it is brain to quality and the way they have evaluated this is using 35 healthy volunteers there are two different ways they are measuring the brain signals one is using eeg which stands for electroencephalography or using meg magnetoencephalography and as you can see here with the accuracy meg with the same model significantly outperforms EEG. This also indicates how a recording different signal could have different impact in the final accuracy, despite having the same model in itself. So in terms of the model accuracy, if you see brain to quality, it reaches on an average, a character error rate of 32%. While it substantially outperforms EEG uh, with this, which has character error rate of 67%. So the lower the error rate is better it is. And for the best participants, like this is like average, but there is a best participant for them. The model achieves a CER character error rate of 19%, which means almost 81% accuracy. And it can also perfectly decode a variety of sentences outside of the training set. So now one thing that you have to understand here is that the, while error analysis suggests that decoding depends on motor processes, the analysis of typographical error suggests that it also involves higher level cognitive factors. So while people are just typing, you can just say that maybe this is measuring what they are typing, but the analysis for them actually indicates that this could be also high level cognitive factor. How does it work? The way it works is the participant is asked to read something that is coming on their screen and then they're asked to memorize it. And after they memorize it, then they're asked to type it. When they are typing it, they are, they are at the same time, their brain signals are measured using MEG, magnetoencephalography and EEG, electroencephalography. So they're supposed to type it using a QWERTY keyboard. So for example, if I see here consume and I keep consume in my mind and then I type it. And after I do that, like the brain signals are recorded, both MEG and EEG. And this is exactly where brain to QWERTY come into picture. So brain to QWERTY is a three module deep learning architecture. So the first one is to understand the brain signal. And the last module is to correct any spelling mistake. That's why I've got a language module and the middle module is where, you know, it is trained at sentence level. So you've got a conv convolutional module that takes a 500 millisecond windows of MEG and EEG signal. And now a transformer module is presented in the middle. And finally, a pre-trained language model, just like the chat GPT, but a very smaller version to correct the outputs, like for the smaller spelling mistakes that you have got. For example, here it says L motor, so you can fix it as L motor. And then there are like in Enervia, you can fix it as Energia. So we'll also see how these different modules play a role in finally getting the right output. Now, how did they actually do it? If you were to look at the exact numbers, so they asked 35 participants to briefly type what they memorized on a keyboard, a computer keyboard. And uh, while their brain activity was recorded uh, with either EEG or MEG. So the typing is it, the characters is not measured. What is measured is what their brain signal is because this is a very critical aspect uh, at one point in this paper it is also mentioned that people were also making mistakes during typing so that is also something that you have to account for but for now if you just see this as it is then they use brain to quality at uh, the three stage ne deep neural network uh, with uh, uh, all the participants and then they used it on 20 participants 146,000 characters 23,000 words and 4,000 sentences. And then they figured out, you know, how um, the, the final typing final result is. Now, one more important aspect for you to understand is how the three different modules of this brain to quality helps 
in uh, actually finally getting a good output so for example if somebody has read las teorias reduce and los numeros i don't know if this was like done with uh, spanish speaking population i'm i'm not sure about it so for this sentences like for these sentences that are available here this is what was read this is what was typed so you can see here even while typing some people made a mistake here you can see instead of g they typed f and instead of n they typed m so there is a mistake that was happening during the typing phase in and itself but if you just see what they read and what they typed just simply having a convolutional neural network there like rather than the module rather than the other two modules which are without the transformer and without the language module it got this much correctly and then once you added the transformer module it was like almost good and then finally you have the language module which is like a auto correction so then you fix all the spelling mistakes and then you got exactly precisely what they typed and same thing again here so what they read what they typed and with convolutional module this is what you got with convolutional press transformer this is what you got and finally with along with the language module it even corrected what they typed because this is the actual word in the dictionary and they managed to finally get it out so this shows how good this model is for this particular task now if you were to understand what kind of errors that they are using here so the two kinds of errors for evaluation that they are using here are h e r that stands for hand error rate so you've got two different hands on the keyboard the left hand and right hand split the first one is a metric that estimates whether the target and the predicted characters correspond to the same left or right hand so if you have got like s in your keyboard and then instead of s you type d now this is both left handed letter so it would not um, it would not identify this as an error so the same way you have got the right hand split so any time you have got the left and right changing then you have got hand error rate the second one is a character error rate like at a letter level they calculate something called a levenstein distance this is uh, how your auto corrects work trying to figure out the next closest letter based on levenstein distance and these are the two error rates h e r c e r that they are using to fix um to evaluate how good the model is and ultimately with the three modules convolutional transformer and language module they have actually built a really good a uh, solid non invasive brain decoding technique and uh, this currently works only with typing and it'll be pretty fascinating to see if they can actually do something like this but without somebody having to type just like memorization and then they have to recite and do something because here like they have mentioned there are like some motor uh, activities happening and part of the signal that they are receiving could be because of the motor activity like where their finger is going and typing so they can completely eliminate the noise there but i i don't think like that would give them any healthy result so anyways this was very interesting to see where uh, neural networks and ai could be making an impact without something that we are seeing every single day this could also lead to neural link kind of bci but without having to have an invasive procedure let me know what you think about it see you in another video happy prompting